if you were advising people who had businesses that they want their children to go into, when is it fair to set an expectation that the benefits you get from going into a family business are the offset of the fact that you may not have choices that your friends have? And when do you think it's just a dead end to, to do it that way? You know, I, I think each kid is different. Uh, and you just always need to be talking about the business and how what they can bring to it uh, and the connection they have to it is going to be unique. Uh, no one else is going to come in as a family member. No one else is going to have their name on the door, as, as they say. And uh, that's what finally pulled me around. I knew I could make more of a contribution there what would really matter for the family than I could anywhere else. And that's finally what got me. Once I felt I had kind of check that box of having enough outside experience that I could bring something to to the table. That's when I joined. So, you know, many families have a five-year rule, and it sounds like in your case, it's a 10-year rule. Um, what are the pros and cons of that in your mind? Well, well, the pros are that you can bring something uh, to the business. You, you've hopefully gotten great experience in those 10 years at other places, uh, and you come in uh, and you don't suffer from, quote, you know, groupthink, which the rest of the business, the rest of the family already, you know, ha has been, uh, you know, sharing. The downside of it is I think you miss those 10 years where you could be learning as you're growing and having that the best teacher of the, of the world is, is your father or mother. And, or, or worst. Or worst. <laughs> and maybe a little both, Michael. <laughs> uh-huh.